Welcome, welcome. Dr. Stephen Hobbs here from the Wealth Movement. This is a video sharing blog entry number 0119 about workplace transition. It's titled, Use Eco-Ethical Architecture to Lead Your Workplace Transition. There is a real-world wonderful connection between leadership and leading, mentorship and mentoring. They both support the concepts and practices of serving as a guide on the ride. And the ride referring to the mentee with mentor, the leader with a stakeholder, and for the mentor leader, leader mentor. The transition suggested here is about the experience felt in a way to generate energy, to co-create a generative space with each other. So let me break it down just a little bit. Eco or ecological is about ecological literacy. It's about nature-based concepts that inform business and life decisions. When you turn your attention to nature as one of your educators, you gain insight into the importance of flow, cycles, network, development, dynamic balance, nested systems, and equilibration. Ethical in this case is about ethics, about ethical decision making, which is about the ways and means we use to interact with one another. The key ethical values are accountability, caring, community, fairness, respect, trust, and hospitality. An interesting term I'd like to add now is architecture. It's a play on the word architecture, where architecture is to buildings as architecture is to persons. Architecture is about the art and design of the carrying construction or constructing of buildings and structures. It moves quantitative to qualitative. Architecture is about the art and design of the caring development of persons and relationships and moves qualitative to quantitative. In every business, you need both, as in, in your life, you need both. As structure informs relationship, so does relationship inform structure. They are in motion, they're in motion, and you equilibrate structure and relationship through strategy. A summary here, in business as in life, transition, which is made up of transaction, transformation, transcendence, moves with you as does change surround every challenge. And I attribute this to Dr. Linda Hines. And so let eco-ethical architecture, as explained here, accompany your journey as you arrive at destinations and again as you move on dancing with those you meet. And in the post to follow, so much more to add. And so, onward.